Bamboo Labs printers are already some of the fastest on the market. But what if I told you they're holding back and that your filament profile might be the bottleneck, not your printer? Nine, six, nine. Nine, six, nine. Today we're comparing the standard flow nozzle with the high flow version on the H2D toolhead and digging into what actually controls print speed. Spoiler, it's not just the nozzle, it's what you select in Bamboo Studio that really matters. We put it all to test on this monster of a subwoofer enclosure and the results were a bit surprising. Both nozzles are compatible with the H2D extruder on the Bamboo printers. Same mount, same materials, same procedure to swap. The high flow version has a larger melt zone and slightly reworked geometry inside. This allows more filament to melt faster, which should allow for quicker printing, especially during infill and thicker walls. But here is the catch. The nozzle alone doesn't decide how fast your printer pushes filaments. This is where most users get tripped up. Your actual print speed is limited by the volumetric flow rate. How much melted plastic your printer is allowed to push through per second. Let's look at a few profiles. If you choose generic PLA, the flow cap is just 12 cubic millimeters per second. Whether you use the standard nozzle or the high flow one. So even with a faster nozzle installed, you won't see any performance boost unless your filament profile supports it. With Bamboo's own basic PLA profile, the cap jumps to 25 cubic millimeters per second. And with high flow selected, it's bumped up to 35 cubic millimeters per second. That's a nearly three times difference from generic PLA, just by choosing the right filament profile. Even the so-called high-speed generic PLA caps out at 18 cubic millimeters per second, which is still slower than Bamboo Basic. So if you're printing with generic filament and didn't update the flow cap manually, you're probably not getting your money's worth from that high flow nozzle. Thankfully, Bamboo Studio lets you change that manually. Go into your filament settings and just increase the max volumetric speed to suit your printer and material. For most PLA filaments, don't go above 50 cubic millimeters per second. That's the practical upper limit for the high flow nozzles. And if you're pushing your flow rates up, make sure to increase your nozzle temperature by 5 to 10 degrees Celsius for better consistency and fewer jams. We've tested both nozzles on a real world print a 3D printed subwoofer box, big surface area, lots of infill and tough on the print time. With the standard flow nozzle, the print time came in at around 23 hours and 40 minutes. Swapping in the high flow nozzle with the right profile settings, just over 16 hours flat. That's more than seven hours saved. And for production style printing, that's a big deal. Speaking about big deal, let's hear about our sponsor. Introducing PCBWay.com, the online one-stop shop for all your electronic ambitions. Need circuit technology or small-run manufactured parts? PCBs, 3D prints or CNC millings in PLA, ABS or aluminium and a whole rainbow of colour options. Upload your specs, approve the design, pay and await express delivery. Fair pricing, no minimum orders, and total control throughout. Contact our design team at PCBWay.com. Now, what about quality? Turns out the outer layers looked virtually identical. Because infill speed was the main thing that changed. The visible wall still printed cleanly. No under extrusion, no artifacts. So let's be real. Is the high flow nozzle worth another 50 to 100 bucks depending on one or two units? 
if you're printing large functional parts like enclosures, organizers, cosplay armor, or just want to chew through infill faster, yes, it's a time saver. But if 70% of what you print is small, detailed, or multicolor, it probably won't make a noticeable difference. You'd be better off spending that money on filament or accessories. And without using the right slicer profile or customizing your own, you won't see the speed benefits anyway. So no, it's not some game-changing upgrade, but it's also not a gimmick. It's just a niche tool for the right job. So anyways guys, thank you for watching. Hit like if this helped clearing things up. Subscribe for more no BS 3D printing reviews. And let me know in the comments if you've tried pushing your flow rates higher. What worked, what failed. Bye!